We are pleased to announce some exciting changes our board has adopted to our leave policies. Of course, our expectations and yours is to always do what is best for your students. And being present and with your students is always best. However, leave is expected and sometimes necessary. So let's start with a review of our leave and the new changes. Let's review the two definitions first of leave. Discretionary leave is for personal business. You must request these days in advance and you will need approval from your supervisor. Non-discretionary is leave taken from medical illness, doctor's appointments, or death in the family. State days. You receive five days per year to be used for both discretionary and non-discretionary days. Unused days accumulate indefinitely and will go with you if you leave the district to join another Texas school district. There is no change in the leave. Local days. You receive five local days per year. Here's the big change. These local days are no longer charge days. When you use a day, it will completely be free of charge. Any accumulated local charge days from before has been converted into your new local no charge balance. Unused days accumulate up to 30 days. This is also a change the board has made as it used to be 20 days. With these changes, there is the potential to build up enough paid leave to take six weeks off for maternity leave. Bereavement. The board has also adopted a policy to include bereavement leave. The district shall provide up to three leave days of paid bereavement leave per occurrence for absences related to the death of an employee's immediate family member. Now let's talk about the use and recording of changes. For professional and paraprofessional positions for which a substitute is normally required, leave shall be taken and recorded in half and whole days. This is no change at all. The new change is that all other positions may take and record leave in two hour increments. Midway ISD uses Frontline, formerly known to us as ASOP, as our absence management system. For security reasons, this system will no longer use your phone number and four-digit PIN as a login. We are now able to connect to Frontline, ASOP, with our network login in two different ways. If you log into My Locker, you will see an icon for ASOP. Everything inside My Locker is single sign-on system. That means that once you sign into My Locker, you are automatically signed in and logged in to ASOP. Go to our Midway website. Click on Staff, then on the My Locker icon. Once you sign in, you will see the ASOP icon. The second way to use your network login is to go to the ASOP front page. And rather than log in, you will click the link that says or sign in with organization SSO. It is highlighted in this clip. And it looks like that you need to click or sign in with organization SSO two times, so be watching for that. Once you do that, you will be prompted to enter your email address. This will route you to My Locker credentials and will sign you in. Frontline also has a great new app for our use. Simply access your mobile app store, enter Frontline Education in the search bar, and click the Get or Install button. Once the app is on your device, you will need to unlock. The unlock code for Midway ISD is 7354. You will also receive this code in your ASOP welcome letter. Once you unlock the app, Frontline will prompt you for your credentials. Once again, click on the link that says, or sign in with Organization SSO. You have to do this two different times. Then type in your Midway email address. This will route you to My Locker and allow you to select, select your network credentials and set your app up with your ASOP information. After this initial setup, your app should always be ready for your viewing your leave and creating your absence. And finally, we want to review some of the policies about taking leave. Immediate family is spouse, child, parent, sibling, grandparent, and grandchild. That is all that is considered immediate family. Comp time. For paraprofessionals who earn comp time, 
earned cons compensatory time shall be used before any available paid state or local leave. Comp time first. Medical certification. Medical certification is required if the employee is absent more than five consecutive work days due to personal illness or illness in the immediate family. Discretionary leave. All discretionary leave requests must be submitted five days in advance except in extreme emergency situations. And lastly, remember you are responsible for choosing the leave you want, be it state or local. And a cautionary note, your local leave days automatically fall into leave without pay if you have exhausted your local leave. This will happen even if you have state days. That means if you choose a local day in ASOP and you have no more local days, our system will automatically charge you your daily rate of pay. So please choose wisely. Thank you and have a great school year.